any factoring problem, even if it is a four-term polynomial and grouping is the first thing that comes to your mind, it's very important to first look for a GCF of the whole polynomial. If there is something that can be factored out of the whole polynomial, we need to do that first in order to make sure that we get a fully factored result. Looking at this polynomial, I see that every term has a T in it. There isn't any number that's a common factor of all these terms, but I can factor out a T. And factoring out a T gives me 15T cubed plus 18T squared minus 5T minus 6. So the idea here is that now I can factor this resulting polynomial by grouping and I want to save that GCF of t that I factored out for my final answer. So I'm going to focus on just the polynomial inside the parentheses and this t I'm going to save for later. I don't want to forget all about it because it is going to make it into my final answer. However, I will say that it can be a little bit confusing to write it down at every step because there's a stage at which we factor out that common binomial and that t, if it's written at the beginning, it's not very clear whether it just belongs to the first group or it belongs to the whole polynomial. So I'm going to do this without writing down the t again at every step, but I want to try to do something that's going to make me remember it, like maybe come through and highlight it in yellow. Do something that's going to make me not forget it when it comes time to write my final answer. Now looking at the polynomial inside the parentheses, I see that I can factor 3t squared out of the first group. And taking out 3t squared leaves me 5t plus 6. Looking at the second group, because the first term is negative, I have to factor out something negative. And because the two terms otherwise don't have any common factors, I have to factor out a negative 1. Factoring out negative 1 changes both of the signs so that negative 5t becomes positive 5t and negative 6 becomes positive 6. So I can see that I do, in fact, get my common binomial. 3t squared minus 1 is my purple factor from the two GCFs. 5t plus 6 is my common binomial factor. And this t that I factored out at the beginning that I saved, I now want to bring down and put into my final answer by just appending it to the front of my factors. So that my final factorization is t times 3t squared minus 1 times 5t plus 6. Now incidentally, had you not noticed that GCF in the very beginning and had just done factoring by grouping instead, what you would have as a result is what we get by distributing this t here into the first set of parentheses, but not the second. It would be 3t cubed minus t times 5t plus 6. So if we hadn't noticed the GCF and had just done factoring by grouping and then stopped, this is what we would get as our result. It is still factored, it is still factored correctly in that if we multiply this back out, we will get the polynomial we started with. But you can see that there's still a common factor of t in this first factor. So it is not factored completely. So one thing that we want to get in the habit of looking for is in addition to checking that something's factored correctly and that you can multiply it back out, we want to make sure it's factored completely and that as we look at each of the factors, we cannot see any common factors like a common factor of t in this first factor or any other possibility of factoring further before we say that we are done.
For now though, it will be sufficient to just always remember this first step in any factoring problem. Look for a GCF even if the problem is already sort of calling your name to do a different method.